And, and uh, I was a big Cincinnati Reds fan. And uh, when I had the opportunity to play in Detroit and play for Sparky Anderson for six years, that was a real thrill for me. Uh, you know, Alan Trammell, if you've ever been around him, is one of the most professional, courteous, just uh, a class class guy. And uh, Alan made me feel as comfortable as any young player could feel. He's the first player to come across and introduce himself to you. Uh, he's that way with every young player. Uh, it never, never at any point that I feel that I was trying to fill Alan Trammell's shoes. I wanted to uh, to uh, sort of wear my own shoes and uh, I put more pressure on myself to do that to be honest with you but uh, Alan helped me taught me a tremendous amount uh, was a good friend to me and a, and a great mentor and I I tell people many times the best piece of baseball advice I was ever given Sparky Anderson gave me uh, he called me in his office as a rookie looked across the locker room and said uh, do you see that gentleman right over there and he pointed to Alan Trammell and he says Watch him and do what he does and you'll be just fine. That was the only advice I really ever needed. That 1990, that's year one, right? Yeah. And on that team was also Lou Whitaker. Sure. And uh, obviously they played together for a long period of time. What was their success in the chemistry? What was the chemistry? Incredible. Uh, in fact, for me, it's still a mystery how the two of them are not inducted into the Hall of Fame together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, individually, they're borderline Hall of Fame players. You put them together, 19 years as teammates, 19 years double play combination, has to be the greatest double play combination in the history of the game. That's pretty special. Uh, you'll never see two teammates with 19 years together, I don't think, ever again in the history of the game. So. Um, they knew each other backwards and forwards. They were two completely different people, uh, two completely different ways of going through life and interacting with people, uh, yet they've been together for so long they understood each other perfectly. And uh, a very uh, a thrill for me to watch because I, I love defense. I love how the, ball, the game is played in the middle of the field, and no two have ever done it better. As you, as you reflect back on your days at Tiger Stadium and, and with the Tigers and, and even Sparky Anderson, uh, what, what, were, what kind of moments that you reflect on yeah. and say, gee, that, that was magic? Many, many moments. Uh, I tell people all the time uh, when I dream or think about baseball for some reason, it's always in a Tiger uniform. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sure why that is, but um, uh, my memories just, you know, uh, are. are varied. Uh, you, when you ask me to talk about my Tiger days, I think about sitting in Sparky Anderson's office mm -hmm. and having him talk to me about maybe mistakes I made in the game that night or just call me in out of the blue to talk about something about life or what was important to him. Uh, I remember rainy days like we have today mm -hmm. or rain delays like we had at last night's game and he would fire that pipe up and sit down in the tunnel and start telling stories from the Big Red Machine or about uh, Allen and Lou when they were young players and Lance and Kirk Gibson and what they were like and the smell of that pipe and him telling those stories are some of my favorite memories. Uh, he was a perfect manager for me, very patient, a great teacher of the game. If you're willing to ask questions and listen, he was willing to answer them. And he always said I asked more questions than any player I ever had. Yeah. And I remember that. I remember Allen Trammell. Uh, the great Alan Trammell, the way that he was willing to go and play other positions when they thought they were going to leave me at short. And I learned about what it meant to have respect for the game and respect for your teammates. So the game is bigger and more important than any one player. Your teammates and the team are more important than, than you are. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned that by watching Alan Trammell. Uh, I learned how to compete by the Kirk Gibsons and the Jack Morrises. I, I learned, you know, perseverance and, and Chet Lemon, my first locker mate, what a great career he had. Um.
Tiger Stadium, formerly known as Briggs Stadium. Uh, imagine, imagine who stood there. You know, the Al K Lions, the Ted Williams, the Roger Merrick. And Ernie Harwell, who I love dearly, and his wife Lulu, know them very well, and still see them annually. And uh, just, uh, you know, again, I many great memories from my time in Detroit. A, a team spirit and, and a feeling that uh, whenever they were in the game, even if they were behind. Well, the blooper that's shown every year, every time, is the lunacy of Steve Lyons pulling his pants down at first base when he dove head first when he played for the White Sox. It's on every blooper reel you ever see in every ballpark. Yeah, Pulls his pants down to his underwear. I don't remember the details of the game, but there was a close play at first base. Steve Lyons was playing for the White Sox at the time, you know, sort of a mediocre, uh, just a hustler type player, and dove head first into first base, which you really should never do. And I guess he's covered in dirt. He gets up and pulls his pants down to knock the dirt out in front of however many people were at the game that night, underwear and all, and then acts surprised that he did it. I know Steve a little bit. I think he's goofy enough to have done it on purpose. And he's also goofy enough not to have had a clue or forgotten where he was right. entirely. But uh, I remember thinking that was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. And it's on every blooper reel I've ever seen in any ballpark I've ever played in. So. Al One of the classiest men I've ever met to this day uh, makes me feel good. I see him, he always comes up to me, we talk, exchange uh, respect for one another, and uh, when I look at the back of a baseball card, his is the most impressive I've ever seen. It, his numbers are the same for 23 years. Mm -hmm. uh, he is, to me, is just one of my favorite people in the game I've ever met. When you go into the Hall of Fame, yeah, never. Yeah. What hat would you wear? Oh me? Oh, I don't know. That day, I, I'm glad I don't ever have to decide that. Yeah. Uh, I will never be there. But uh, uh, it would hardly be hard for me not to wear a Tiger hat. I love the Indians organization. Respect it greatly. Uh, proud to be a part of it. Uh, I was fortunate in my career. I got to play for two organizations that have a tremendous heritage in the game of baseball with rich histories. I love that because I love the game. Uh, and I love being here. Uh, but again, when I dream and think about baseball, it's in a Tiger White, which is my favorite uniform in the game, and I think the impact Sparky Anderson had in my life and a teammate like Alan Trammell is something that is hard for me to move past.